Hello everyone and welcome. You guys know that I'm always looking for the best and most affordable diagnostic scan tool that I can find for both the DIYer and the technicians in my audience. So today I bring you a very compact and affordable scan tool from ThinkCar that is an all system scanner, has wireless connectivity and free lifetime updates. These are things that my viewers have asked for many times over the years that I've been doing this, so I'm always looking for newer and better alternatives to review for you guys. Now I have reviewed ThinkCar scanners before and I find them to be very intuitive and easy to use. So when I saw this newly updated ThinkScan Max OBD2 vehicle scanner, I knew I had to review it for you guys. So let's unbox this guy and see how it performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. All right, here's a shot of the box for you. Let's open this guy up and see what it brings. All right, guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now, this is the ThinkScan Max from ThinkCar, updated for 2022, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this kit retails for $399.99, but they also have a $40 discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. And if I happen to come across any additional discount coupons, I'll be sure to put it in the description down below. So check that out first. Before you do anything, you might get it even cheaper than that. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the scanner itself, get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the scanner, how to get it set up, hook it up, work it, all that kind of good stuff. I suggest you read through that. And it comes in a multitude of different languages, so everyone should be able to read through this and get well informed without any trouble at all. Then you also get the wireless OBD2 dongle to connect to your vehicle wirelessly. You get a USB-C charging cable and you get adapters for powering it up. Any part of the world that you're in, you have adapters so you can plug it in and get it powered up. And you get a nice hard storage container to keep it nice and safe and secure when you put it away. No damage will come to the unit because it's a nice solid case right there. Now this unit comes with a 12 month warranty and the dimensions on this unit are only eight and a half inches by four and a half inches by one inch in thickness. And it only weighs 1.3 pounds. So like I said, it's very lightweight, very compact. And the unit runs on the Android 10.1 system for a very stable system. The unit comes with 18 gigabytes of memory and it has a built in 3100 milliamp battery. The unit has a 6 inch touchscreen, which is compact, not very bulky, but still very good convenient size so you can do anything you need on there. Now one thing to point out is that this is a full blown tablet, not just a simple OBD2 scanner. It can take screenshots, do graphing, live data, video recording, save reports, fill out reports with the shop name and vehicle information, all the stuff that a professional would need in their shop. You can search OBD2 code trouble codes. You can go on the web and search for trouble codes or any other vehicle related information using the built in browser. You don't need a separate computer, laptop, any of that. This guy can do all the web searches and everything that you need right there without having to go anywhere. This is also an all system scanner, which means that it can communicate to your engine, transmission, airbag, ABS, ESP, TPMS, immobilizer, steering, radio, air conditioning, and more. With this guy here, you can retrieve ECU information, read and clear trouble codes, display live data stream, and more. It also has a very convenient auto VIN identification system, which means that once you connect up to the vehicle, it'll do all the work for you. And you also have manual input of the VIN information if you want to do it that way. This guy comes with 28 maintenance reset functions, so you can do things like oil reset, EPB and TPMS reset, injector coating, SAS calibration, ABS bleeding, DPF regeneration, battery relearn, throttle relearn, headlights, gearbox, anti-theft matching, IMMO, EGR adaptation, sunroof initialization, brake reset, and more. One very convenient thing about this unit is that it comes with free lifetime updates that can save you a ton of money over the lifetime of owning this item. Another very convenient thing that a lot of you guys ask for is that this guy does not have a cable to hook up to your vehicle. It has a wireless OBD2 dongle right here, which is very compact, very small, lightweight, and it lives inside the unit. When you're not using it, you put it inside the unit, it goes into a little port right here, so you never lose it and you never have to worry about it. I'll show you in a minute. It just slides into the bottom, stores inside the unit, so you never have to worry about where you put that guy. 
Another very convenient thing about this unit is that it can communicate and talk to over 10 different OBD2 protocols. So regardless of what vehicle you're talking to, it should be able to hook up and talk to it without any trouble at all. This guy also has wireless internet connectivity and one-click updates. All you do is click the update button right there and you can do all the updates. From right here on my bench, I can hook up to the internet, do updates, do web searches, all that kind of stuff wirelessly. Very convenient right there. This guy also works with over 90 different automotive brands from American brands, Asian, European, Australian, Indian, and more. It also supports 15 different languages, including English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Japanese, Russian, Polish, Hungarian, Arabic, Greek, Slovakian, traditional Chinese, and Korean. So no matter what part of the world you're in, you should be able to use this unit without any trouble at all. So this unit is great for doing almost any kind of vehicle diagnosing and repair using your OBD2 system. It works with cars and light trucks or any vehicle that has a standard OBD2 port. Use it to diagnose and clear trouble codes or reset any of the 28 reset functions included with this unit. Now, one thing also to point out is that this unit can be taken to the next level if you want to have more features added to it. I already covered all the standard features that come built into this unit when you buy it. That's all I'm going to talk about. That's all I'm going to test today. But it does have a button on here that you can upgrade it to the next level and you can purchase additional features like bi-directional testing. You can purchase bi-directional testing for your particular vehicle. Vehicle, and that way you make this into an even better scanner than that. Like I said, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to use it. I didn't purchase it because I don't know how many people are going to want that. So today I'm only going to show you the scanner as it comes when you purchase it as a mid-level scanner. But if bi-directional testing is important to you, you can purchase that and make it into an even better scanner than what it already is. All right, so let's look a little deeper into this guy, take a closer look at it and start doing some testing with it. All right, guys, well, let's take a little closer look at the body of the unit itself. We're going to look at all the features in just a moment. But let's look at the body itself. Just to show you right up here, that's where your power button is right here. Over here is where your I.O. connectors are. And what you do is you lift up this cover, and it's nice and secure on there. And you have a couple of USB connectors right there. USB-C to power up the unit and standard USB-A right there for exporting any kind of reports or anything you want for a printer to hook it up to you or your computer or anything. Anything that you can hook up with a USB, you can hook it up to that and do it for reports or any of that kind of good stuff. And then down here, that's the little house where the little dongle lives. And what you do is you pop it in there and it stays in there when you're not using it. As you see, it does not fall out. It lives in there the whole time. When you need to use it, press on it, pops right out. Then you take this little guy, hook it up to your vehicle, and you are good to go. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Let me hook this guy up to the vehicle, and then we'll start using some of the functions that this guy has. All right, guys, so here we have the scanner set up, and I turned down the light so it's a little easier to see the screen here on my shop with less reflection. And let's see, let's get started here and take a look at it. This is your opening screen right here. When you first turn on the scanner, this is the first thing you're going to see. And from here, you go to all the different functions that the scanner has available. You see right there, very easy to read, very easy to understand. That's the thing I like about this software. Very intuitive, nothing confusing about it. The scan and OBD are two different scan modes to be able to scan your vehicle and see all the different functions that it has. And we're going to be going through some of that stuff. The maintenance modes right there is for all the different resets that you have available. Think file and repair info are both two different ways to access the information that you have. If you are a repair shop or if for yourself you're working on a couple different vehicles, it'll store the info in there and keep a progress report of everything that you've done. And you can access it at any time and go through there and see what you're doing. The Think Store up there, like I said previously, that is where you can get any upgrades that you want for this scanner, whether it's bi-directional or anything they may add in the future. Right now, I just know about the bi-directional. I don't know what other things they may put in the store in the future, but that's where you can add it right there if you choose to do so. I didn't get anything, so we're looking at the basic scanner right here, and that's what we're looking at today. As far as the updates right there, that's very easy to do. And the settings right there is for how to set up your scanner as far as the units of measurement, the color, volume, brightness, all that kind of good stuff. The updates is very easy. One click update. You go right there and it takes you right to the update screen. It tells you what's updated and what needs to be updated. Then you scroll through there. You see all the different brands and so forth, all the different features that are available. Click the download or update button and you're good to go. So it's very, very easy to do. Very intuitive. 
splits back out of there. And now let's look at the maintenance functions. For you guys that are interested in what the maintenance functions are that this scanner has, and you can read through there, and I will scroll through it so you can see all the different things that are available. You can pause the video if you need to do that. But you can see right there all the different things that are available, and I'll keep on going as all the different screens are on here. And you can see what is compatible with your vehicle and what is not, because not every vehicle will have every function that is on here. The scanner is general purpose for a lot of different brands of vehicles, but not every vehicle will be compatible with all this information. So if your vehicle is, that's great. Then you know you can use this to reset any of this stuff on your given brand vehicle. Let's back out of here. So then let's do a little bit of scanning on my vehicle. I already set up the OBD2 dongle over there. Let me get the vehicle started and we'll get going on that. All right, so I started up the vehicle. I have it running in the background and I opened up the garage door so I don't asphyxiate myself in here. So no need to worry about that. You can see the sun reflection on the corner over here where the garage door is open. And that's the convenient thing about having a wireless scanner. The vehicle is a few feet behind me. I'm right here on my bench. I don't need to be in the vehicle to be able to scan anything I need. Only if I need to go over there and have it do certain things, then I'll do that. But right here we can start off. Let's do the scan. Let's go with the OBD scan right here. And it gives you a little notice right there. And let's go some diagnosing. And it'll hook up to the Bluetooth and so forth. And it'll start going through there and finding out what the vehicle is and all that. And it'll tell me all that information. And there you go. Basically, it gives you a little screen right there telling you everything that's going on in the vehicle. Mill status off. All the different things that have run or not run, etc. And then you click OK and you go forward from there. And then on here, you can look at a lot of different things, whether it's freeze frame, live data, IM readiness, all that kind of stuff. And you go through there and there's a lot of different testing and so forth you can do, clear fault codes, a lot of different things that you can do on here. Now, if I go into IM readiness, that would be a way to find out if your vehicle is ready for like a, a smog test, a state emissions test, any of that kind of stuff. But I know on this one, it's not going to be ready because I haven't run the vehicle. I just started it up right now, first time in the morning, so it's not going to be ready. Now, let's see, let's do this one right here, and it probably will say that it's not ready. See, some things are complete, some things are not complete. If it's not completed, then you can't take it to the state for an inspection because it'll fail. So then you go up further, and a lot of things are not completed. But if you want to get your car ready and know what's going on before you take it to be inspected, this can help you very much with that right there. Back out of there, and we back out of here. And let's look at some live data because that's the easiest thing right there for you guys to see exactly how this scanner looks and what it can do. So you go into live data and it'll pull up a lot of things that it can do. And you can scroll through here and pick a lot of different information. I'm just going to go through here real quick and give you an idea of what it has. But it has a lot of different functions. You can talk to a lot of different modules in your vehicle. But let me go through here and pick up a few of these uh, systems on here and then we'll grab some of them. All right, so I selected a few different things on here that we can give a relative representation of what's going on in the vehicle that you can see it now here as a representation in the video. So I selected RPMs, and down here I selected long-term fuel for the different banks. And let's see, also the short-term fuel for the different banks. So now what we do is basically you click OK, and it'll pull all these up. And you can look at them individually if you want to, and you can use the RPMs as a reference to where the fuel trim should be. So you can look at them individually right there as to what's going on, or you can combine them all and pull them up into a graph. And then basically you select all the ones that you want to combine, and I'm going to select those. All right, so I selected all the different data streams that I want to take a look at. Then we look at OK, and it pulls it up on a graph. And you can have a maximum of four data streams on this particular scanner. So that's what we're looking at, long-term and short-term fuel trim. Let me go over there, give it a little bit of acceleration, and we'll see how these different guys change.
And there you go. That gives you an idea how the different acceleration changes and you can track it and see if uh, the fuel trim is correct for what you think it should be or not be, etc. In this vehicle, this is completely accurate because this vehicle is running perfectly fine. But if your vehicle is not, this information right here could help you out a lot to figure out what is going on and what is wrong with your vehicle. So there you go. That's some very useful information right there. Very clear, very colorful graph. And you can go into greater detail and pinch it and expand it and zoom in and contract it, etc. when you have a very large graph that you're looking at. So it's very good to look at that. Let's back out of here. All right, here we go. I pulled up some other information. One thing that's very convenient and people have trouble with a lot of times are the oxygen sensors. So let's take a look at four different readings here for the different oxygen sensors and see how that looks when we graph it. So let's look at that. And you pull them up and that gives you some very useful information there where if you have a problem, you can track down exactly what is going on. Numerically, you can see what each one is doing. Now you can combine them, select all the different ones, Combine them all, click OK, and then we have a graph of all four of them. Again, I'll go over there and do some acceleration so you can see how this changes. But that gives you some good information right there about the oxygen sensors. And there you go. You see as like when I was accelerating and then now that I'm not, you can see how everything changes considerably. And that gives you some very useful information where you can figure out what's going on with your oxygen sensor in case you have some kind of emissions problems. So there you see it. They still keep going and they still keep checking and sensing up and down even when I'm not in the vehicle. So that gives you some real good live data right there. All right, so we're back to the start screen and so forth. And like I said, let's look at the repair info right here. And you can see, like I said, right here, you have a lot of different things that you can pick from. Your file manager, where you have all your stored information. Chrome, which is your browser, and you can go out on the web and look for stuff. Your OBD2 fault code library right there. Any videos that you've stored, any information on here where you can learn how to use this better. Coverage list, TPMS, all that kind of stuff right there. A lot of this stuff, I have nothing in it because I just got the scanner. But like I said, let's look at the fault code right there. And you can put in information, let's see, P0100. Uh, and there you go. I just made up a random number, and that gives you the information on that guy right there. Uh, what is the problem with it? What you're looking at, etc. So if you're looking at any particular code, you can just go right in the scanner itself, and it tells you what the problem code is, and you can go from there. And if that's not good enough for you, you can always go out on the web and search more information right here on the scanner without having to go anywhere else. So let's back out of this guy and we're back to the start screen. All right, guys, there you have it. A very compact, lightweight and affordable OBD2 code scanner. I think this is a really good OBD2 scanner for the money. It brings a ton of scanning and reset features included for a very reasonable price. It has wireless connectivity to the web for easy updates and browsing of fault codes on the web. It has a wireless dongle so you can connect to your vehicle wirelessly when doing testing. And a big plus for this unit is that it also has the ability to be upgraded to do more functions if you need it in the future. So if your scanning needs change in the future, instead of having to buy another scanner to have more features, this one allows you to download more features for an added fee and make this scanner even better and more powerful. Right now you can add bi-directional control as a paid upgrade, but in the future they may add more features to their store. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.